hi everyone welcome back to another edition of moments with lulu if you are new to my channel please make sure you're subscribed so you're getting notifications whenever i put up a new video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all my nursing school clinical essentials so in this video i'm going to be showing you what i take to clinical on a daily basis or as needed so without further ado let's get right into this video so one thing I need you all to keep in mind is that you don't necessarily need to get expensive materials for school. You can get like um, affordable stuff at like any dollar store or at the grocery store. The first thing I'm going to tell you is that you want to make sure that you're taking a comfortable um, clinical bag with you. So you don't want to take something too big or something that has so much inside of it because usually you need to be able to accommodate other people because you won't be the only one using the facilities room or the units room where staff members keep their items the first thing on my list is my stethoscope of course your stethoscope is very important because that's what this is what you used to like listen to long sounds heart sounds and ball sounds so you want to make sure that you have your stethoscope with you it's very essential i recommend getting a stethoscope that has both a diaphragm and a bell so because i know in my first year of nursing school i got like a stethoscope that only had a bell but it didn't really matter then because we mostly used it to for like taking manual blood pressure but along the way you make sure you want to get a stethoscope with bell and a diaphragm because the bell allows you to listen to low pitch sound and then the diaphragm allows you to listen to high pitch sound so just make sure that you get something that looks like this so a bell and a diaphragm the second thing on my list is my pen light so i love to take my pen light every time with me to clinical and it's always in my pocket this is something you need for any kind of neurological assessment when you need to look into your patient's pupil and i really like this pen light because it has all the numbers so you can use to like measure to know what size of pupil your patient has and sometimes i use it to look into my patient's nose or something like that because that area is dark so you just want to be able to see what you're assessing another thing i take with me to clinical is my sharpie my black pen my red pen my highlighter and then i have this purse that contains a lot of a lot of like writing materials because I have so many things including sticky notes too and also I take the reason I take sticky notes to clinical is because they are very handy and they are always in my pocket just in case there's something I need to like scribble down quickly or take note of like something very urgent maybe I have to like report to the nurse or to my clinical instructor like things I don't want to forget and sometimes because my clinical is also we do like electronic chatting so i have to use this to like maybe if i'm going to a patient's room that's on some kind of isolation or some kind of precaution i have to take this with me and just take out one piece so i can take all their vital signs and every assessment i've done and then transfer it onto the computer when i get out of the patient's room something else i take is my clinical id because this is super important um your instructor can make you leave clinical because of this so it's just very important you have this because you want to make sure that you you you're wearing it so people need to know your role another thing i take to clinical with me is my lip balm sustain eye drop and my hand cream the reason i take all of this is because the hospital environment is a very dry place i don't take the whole pack so i just bring out like one or two depending because these are like one use single use because i don't really like eye drops where i have to buy a whole small bottle and be coming every day to like put it i just feel like this is more sterile that's why i got this particular kind for my dry eyes another thing i take to clinical is my mini first aid kits for myself i put some dressing supplies in here so the reason i take band aids to um clinical is because sometimes when when i use the hand sanitizer because it's alcohol based um sanitizer so when i use that sometimes i get dry flaky um skin it's so irritating that maybe i'll just have a bruise so because i'm in the i'm in the hospital environment i need to make sure that i'm also protecting my own cell because if i have a cut or any of those kind of things that's like a risk for infection another thing i take with me to clinical is my calculator because 
you have to do your medication calc yeah you have to calculate some iv medications another thing that i take with me to clinical is my clipboard i don't really use this clipboard but it's only effective during reports because sometimes i'll have to like stand to take reports and it's very inconvenient when you're writing on a piece of paper so this is more like a support for me to write or take reports with another thing i take to clinical with me is my um my clinical journal this is my reflection book it's the only black journal i have and i really love this journal because it just has quite some things inside here so mostly whenever i have like bad days or like something i feel like needs to be written down i take notes in my journal for every of my clinical placements this journal and then i go back here to like reflect or just take a look at it sometimes so like every day after clinical i try to write something inside this book just for you know for my own keep and for my own reflection another thing i take with me to clinical is my naloxone kit i always carry this around with me just in case of some kind of opioid overdose i've never used it before you need to know how to recognize the signs of an overdose to be able to use this on someone and i mean naloxone does not necessarily have any effect if you are not able to recognize an overdose patient and you probably recognize them another thing some people take to clinical or most people take with them is a mini drug guidebook which is totally helpful and okay but i personally don't do that because i find it to be too much load on me so what i do if i'm not sure of a drug that i need to look up quickly i go to my university's um, nursing library to, to look up any medication that i am not sure of or to research my medication in general i have never owned a drug guide i'm mostly going through the university's website because it's a place that's constantly updated so it's easier for me to like access what i need also you can get any drug guide book of your choice davis drug guide leaping cut and lexicomp are three recommended drug guide books that i know we've talked about quite a lot in my pharmacology semester another thing i take with me to clinical is food water and snacks you just need something to maintain your blood sugar maintain your strength at the end of the day especially your water so you always need to make sure that you're drinking plenty of water another thing i take with me to clinical is my gym outfit sometimes it's really tiring after clinical or you just feel like you had a stressful day so for me going to the gym is a form of distressing so i go with my friend after clinical that brings me to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this and if you did please don't forget to leave a like don't forget to comment and don't forget to share with your friends as well and i'll see you all in my next video bye now